Jason Allen here from Play It Software and today we're going to look at getting your remote DJs and presenters on air with Priority Streams. The Priority Streams feature is a unique advanced feature in Play It Live 2.09 onwards that allows a remote presenter or DJ to override the normal live assist automation within Play It Live. It does this by listening to activity on a live URL from a streaming server that your remote presenter would be streaming to, or it can also accept direct connections from Icecast compatible clients. If there is activity on the stream, then the automation can stop and the live stream can take over. Let's take a look at how we would have done this using the playout log and the remote URL item. You would add the remote URL item you would give it a title, a URL, select live stream and the duration and click OK. If this remote URL was to fail to load, for example, if the presenter turned up late for their show, there would be no way to get this remote stream back on the air without manual intervention. It is possible to load up lots of remote URLs with songs in between as a fallback, but this is cumbersome to manage and also causes your log to get quite confusing. So introducing priority streams which works outside the playout log and stops and starts the playout log automation automatically when the stream activity changes. Let's clear what I have here and schedule some tracks for automation. Now let's start with a really simple example. I'm going to create a priority stream that listens to a live URL. I can do this by going to Manage and Priority Streams and clicking on Add New. We'll give the priority stream a name and a live URL. Priority streams can have three open states, closed, pre-open and open. In the closed state, Play It Live will not listen for audio on the stream and it will not go on air. In the pre-open state, Play It Live will listen for audio on the stream but it will be muted. This is used to buffer the stream prior to opening, preventing any dead air. In the open state, Play It Live will listen for audio on this stream. If there is audio on the stream and it is at a sufficient volume, the currently playing track in the playout log will fade and stop and the priority stream will take over. It is also possible to wait for the currently playing track in the playout log to finish before bringing in the priority stream. Priority stream can themselves have a priority. Should more than one stream be open and active at the same time, the stream with the highest priority number will go live. If the priority numbers are the same, the one that connected first will go live. So with this simple open priority stream, I will save the changes. You can see we now have a priority stream player under the main players, but the main playout is still playing. This is because we are not streaming anything to this server. So I will now stream some audio. As you can see, the currently playing track faded out and the priority stream is playing. There is also a notification that the playout has been overridden by a priority stream and what will happen when the priority stream ends. If I stop the stream, the automation will take over again. I'll start streaming again, but shortly after I will stream silence. As you can see, the system has detected silence on the stream and is showing a countdown. When the countdown reaches zero, the playout log automation will resume. So you probably don't want anyone to stream in randomly at any time and take over automation. So it's important to be able to control the open states of the priority stream. 
Remember, if a priority stream is closed, it will not go on air. Priority stream open states can be controlled using scheduled event actions. These can be added via manage and scheduled events, or they can now be added via the playout log. To manually add these to the playout log, you can drag and drop a scheduled event action onto the playout log. Select change open state and select the priority stream you want to change. So this will open the priority stream after this track has finished. I will close this priority stream now and start streaming. So after this track finishes, the priority stream is opened and the stream starts playing. To programmatically schedule these actions into the playout log, you should create clocks as templates and schedule these into hours. Under Manage, Clocks, you will see that I have created two clocks for different shows. I have created a clock for Mark's Pop Show. Here I have a fixed time marker at the top of the hour, followed by an action to close all priority streams and then pre-open the stream. Then there's a top of the hour jingle followed by the opening of the priority stream. So if there's a stream present for Mark, it will play the stream, otherwise it will fall back to the tracks after this item. Here it is best to choose track groups for the genre of Mark's show. So in this example, we have pop. If Mark is running late or is unable to connect, at least relevant tracks will be played instead. Once Mark connects, the automation will fade and the stream will be brought in. Equivalently, I have another clock for Steve's R&B show. Going to Manage and Clock Schedule, you will see I have scheduled these clocks into alternate hours. And going to Manage and Playout Log and scheduling a few hours, you will see the events for each hour. Let's have a listen to see what that sounds like, moving from one show to the other around the top of the hour. As mentioned earlier, if you can, it is good to include a pre-open action a little before the open action. This ensures that the stream does not need to buffer at the point of opening and will mitigate any dead air. As I referred to before, it is possible for the automation to wait for the currently playing track to finish before bringing in the priority stream. This can make for a more pleasant experience for the listener if they are enjoying the currently playing track. You can do this under File, Settings, Live Assist Mode, and selecting Wait for the currently playing track to finish. So when a priority stream becomes active, the currently playing track will finish, and the priority stream will start.
Finally, as an alternative to using an external streaming server and listening to a live URL, Play It Live also supports direct stream connections. You can enable this under File, Settings, Live Assist Mode, and allow direct stream connections on this port. You may need to configure your Windows firewall and router port forwarding rules to accept connections into Play It Live. Note that this port is different from the one that is used by remote management and voice tracking connections. You will then need to create a user for each person who needs to stream. You can do this under Manage and Users. You can see I've already created a user for Steve. Then you can create a priority stream with the type Direct Stream Connection and select the user. Steve's priority stream is already a direct one. Direct streams are IceCast compatible, so they will work with any streaming encoder software, including the Play It Internet Broadcast plugin for Play It Live. Here's an example of the details you need to enter to stream directly into Play It Live. You should use the username and password of the Play It Live user you just created. For the mount, you can simply use slash. That's all I've got to show for the Priority Streams feature in Play It Live. If you have any questions or comments about this, please leave them in the comments section below. If you like this video, please click the like button below and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest features and tutorials. I've been Jason Allen from Play It Software.